Hey there, everyone. I'm recording this super freaking quickly. I mean, I literally am so freaking busy today, but I knew Madoka Magica movie Rebellion, uh, not Rebellion, freaking, well, Perk is Not Rising trailer just dropped, and I need to watch this, like, right now. I have been waiting 10 years for this follow-up film. It's been suffering. So I I'm just going to jump right into it. You can tell I'm already a big fan. You can see all the... Okay, we're clear on that, right? Big fan. So let's watch this trailer. Let's just get right into it. Oh. Uh, they're phones now? Um, Homura has a phone. Okay, that's interesting. You fight against the creatures of this world. Secret. Okay. Uh, oh, 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 there is so much. All right, we're just flashing through her entire life. I, I am not catching any of those quotes. Uh, goodbye, release that girl. What? Yeah. Is that Madoka? Was that Madoka's outfit? A new, like, uh, German-inspired one? Or is that someone else? Oh, ooh, I'm liking this music. Okay, yeah. Okay, well, and now it's just getting fancier. All right, that background. Okay. Not mildly, you know, uh, uh, Madoka, I'm mean, sorry, Sayaka, are you all right? You get burns? Going full villain from Ruin Kenshin there? Current rise on tonight's stream. Okay! I mean, I expected something that chaotic, but I still wasn't prepared. So let's let's scroll through this, because there's some interesting bits in here. First off, Homura can just get phone calls, and is that her asking herself? I'm, I'm, I'm the, the Japanese voice actresses are not fresh in my mind, so I don't know if this is Homura or someone else asking, can you accept the, the risks and responsibilities? Probably referring to the fact that she's containing a god. Can you fight against the curse of this world? Is she contracting out magical girls now? Because this sounds like a contract that Kyubei would sign. And she's smiling. Humura doesn't typically smile. That's not really what she's known for. So she's up to something here or something has gone Seriously wrong. I like the new outfit, though. She she looks cute as fuck in that. That's great outfit. Whoa, whoa, okay. Uh, I gotta do by frame by frame to catch everything. Okay, so the first sign is just, well, Perk is knocked. It's a secret, a secret. Official name, stage witch, real name unknown. Its nature is helplessness. The symbol of a fool that spins around and around. Uh, around and around. The legend of a mysterious witch that has been passed down from generation to generation throughout history. Don't tell anyone. There's only one thing you must do. And then we get flashes of, you know, Homura's past with Madoka. Obviously fighting while Perk is knocked and failing. And Magical Girl's worst and most powerful enemy, Calamity. And what was defining love? There's one thing you must do. That's love. Uh, there's Kanji on screen that I think is danger? I'm not sure. I think the right one is, uh, there's a left one is, is the word for danger. Uh, it's love. What nonsense. Devil. Yeah, we're flashing quickly now. A magical girl I don't know. In the past, this existence brought hope and eventually scatters curses. The law of cycles saved us. Bring hope. Just bring hope. I want to see you one more time. Goodbye. Release that girl. And of course, we get flashes of Homura just going haywire in the entire show and suffering. Hey, Homura. The world is for Madoka, so that's probably, that's definitely Homura saying that. My best friend. Okay, let's, let's be clear, you're a little bit more than friends at this rate, alright? And then... Presumably we get Madoka in her new outfit, however, however, it's possible this isn't Madoka. It's possible this is the original Walpurgis Noct, because what I'm kind of getting from this is... Is Homura trying to track down through space and time the origin point of Walpurgis 
to try and eliminate it, thus preventing the entire cycle from starting in the first place. That's kind of where my mind is going with this story. Well, while Pergus rising, well, Pergus not rising. I mean, obviously, we're, we've are we seen while Pergus knocked end. So, again, we're going to have to go back to time shenanigans. That's completely within Homura's wheelhouse, especially as a devil. She now controls the 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 the, the horizontal and the vertical. So, it, it makes sense that she would probably be parsing back through time, trying to eliminate the... trying to eliminate the threat to Madoka that inspired her to become a god. Uh, now, of course, we've got the original story by Magical Quartet. Who is that jumping off the building? Is is that the same girl as before? The one that might be Walpurgis knocked, Transforming into Walpurgis knocked? Because that's a dope transformation. Uh, it might be Madoka. I don't think it would be. I don't think Madoka is really the jump off of a building kind of person. Uh, you got mouths in the background. Chief Director uh, Akiyuki Shimbo, who I, I'm pretty sure these are all people that worked on the previous series. Yeah, it, this is a different girl, too, uh, who's pirouetting through with ribbons. Wait, is this? Is she wearing? She's wearing shoes. So either she's transformed after jumping off the building or there's a different girl or there's a different time and place. Um, I think it's kind of implying that they're the same by the way they're structured next to each other, but I, I don't think that's the case. And that looks like a magical girl transformation. Just the way we've seen, like, I think with, with Mommy and with um, some of the girls in uh, uh, Magia Record, which I have watched. I actually sat down and watched through it. Um, so I, I actually am now familiar with it. Uh, screenplay by Gen Urobuchi. Good to see you again, Urobuchi. Uh I can't wait for you to make us suffer. Get this far distant shot of a bunch of cranes and a bunch of um, construction equipment and the city being built and two or three girls sitting on a roof there. Uh, Ao Kume, Kume. I gotta familiarize myself with the staff of these films and the, the series because I, I feel like I, I don't give them enough credit. Uh, again... Here we are with uh, Madoka and Sayaka and Hitomi, and they're doing their morning walk routine. So we're definitely going to be seeing that again. I wonder if we're going to have a cold open, kind of a more happy-go-lucky cold open like we did with Rebellion. This has definitely gotten way fancier. Uh, you could the, the the background now is just a full like like garden arches with flowers blooming everywhere, and of course everything comes to a screeching halt as we see Homura smiling, though the way she's drawn. Definitely gives me the inclination that she's, it's kind of a strained smile. Like she's, she, it's not, it's not a full, like, I, I'm genuinely happy to see you. It's like, oh, you're here. I'm glad. Like that kind of, it's a little bit of bitterness or just an, I guess, an exhaustion underlying it. And she's chosen like the best place to do it, though I ha can't help but notice her her shoes must be getting really wet by standing in the fountain like that. Unless that step is like doesn't actually get wet and it's like like right where the fountain is coming down, there's like a little grate where it goes down. Um it just spills over. Which actually would make some sense. It'd be actually a really cool uh fountain feature to have that. It's beautiful. I wonder Oh, that's that's her flower. That's the flower her her witch familiar turns into. The um Is it hope? Is it lilies? Are those lilies? I want to say those are lilies, but I don't know what kind. I feel like there's a specific kind of lily that it becomes. Or is it a, a nightshade of some sort? Yukihiro Miyamoto, director. Uh, Kyoko's back. That's good. She's still snacking on Nam. That's good. Mommy's back? Wait a minute. Mommy's outfit is different. I feel like her outfit... Yeah, yeah, yeah. She, she, she used to have a much more Bavarian-like straight up the middle tied with a bow kind of uh, a corset design but now she's got kind of the side the, the more Chinese style uh, side stitch and an open an open like corset not an open corset an open like lower half thing um, and of course the biggest change is Sayaka here going uh, going full Brendan Fraser uh, I'm not entirely sure what this is about. I, I'm digging it. It's kind of cool. It kind of has this, this 
this edgy feel, but she's not giving off this edgy energy about her. So I'm kind of I'm kind of digging it. It's just all this esoteric energy. Cubase back. That's you know here. Junichi Chiro Taniguchi. Okay. And then Homura is standing on top of this big pile of like papers. I guess there's papers falling down. There's chains. And then there's other magical girls, maybe familiars. Yeah, those are familiars on the, the sides of them. Parallel world design. Parallel world design. I'm going to need to cook on that a while. I don't know. I, I suppose that refers to Homura's, Homura's labyrinth, but it might refer to something else that we don't know about. Music, Yuki, uh, Yuki Kajiura, which I'm glad to hear her back. She sounds like she's popping off again. So we see two Homuras here. We see, yeah, Homura there, a Homura there, neither of which seem to have the Madoka bow. Thank, well, not thank God. It, just like the thing that's interesting. Bunch of familiars just chilling out, and then Homura on her throne. So there's multiple Homuras now, maybe? And so let the curtain rise on tonight's dream. Again, going with the stage play motif that is very strong throughout the entire series. So we're just I I, I wonder if this is gonna be the end. It's not feeling like this is a definitive end. I'm not getting like, oh, this is the end. I weirdly enough, I got that vibe with Rebellion that it might have been the definitive end of the series. Like and then the movie came out, obviously. This isn't giving me vibes that this is going to be the end of Madoka Magica. Oh, I just realized Homura's outfit is different now. She's gone sleeveless. It's like a modification. They're all getting upgrades. Except for Kyoko, I think. Maybe, maybe Kyoko's lower half is, is more detailed. Yeah, she also has, like, gold things in her hair. Gold chains or, like, gold bands. Um, does she have a cat bell on her chest now? Uh, Madoka's going to love that. Yeah, okay, so remember what I said about the, the strained smile? One thing that's a note here is the small line under her eye, where you can definitely see, like, there, there's there's bags. She's She is stressed, and this carries on very naturally from Rebellion. She is, she is not in a healthy state of mind. She is exhausted, I imagine. And so let the curtain rise on tonight's stream. That's her saying it this time. So is she now in league with whatever voice that is? Hmm. I mean, I'm happy. I am so happy that this is like the first mainline Madoka content we have gotten in almost 10 years. I think the closest we've gotten was that that shaft, like I think a 2015 or 2016, like uh, collaboration co thing with Monogatari, I want to say. I can't quite remember, but I know that it was like strictly official. And then there was like the test movie that came out that had Sayaka bound and chained in very similar way that she seems to appear in this. So I'm I'm wondering, oh, oh, cast. Uh, of course, their entire cast returning, including Nagisa. Nagisa. She, Nagisa is coming back. Yeah. Nagisa is coming back. Uh, that's great staff original story like basically all the staff is coming back well i am i'm excited i'm very much confused about a lot of what's happening in this trailer but i'm excited and i can't wait to see more uh all right shaft hurt me come on thank you all so much for watching i hope you enjoyed i know this the spur of the moment that's why my hair is still wet <laughs> It's dried now a little bit now that's gone on so i probably look like i have like a greasy parting hair over here uh, but no uh thank you all so much for watching and uh friendly reminder to anyone that really cares uh, auditions are still up for sketchy huntsman so uh if you want there's the, ep the previous video on my channel covers all the details of that so yeah check that out uh check out everything on the channel thank you all so much for watching i'll catch you all on the flip side